Hi, my name is Chase Mendenhall and I'm the curator of birds here at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History and I'm here to show you our massive collection of birds that we've collected for over a hundred years. Within the sciences, birds and bird collections tend to be really, really prominent and dominant uh, in studies of biology, ecology and evolution. And the main reason behind that is because birds are well studied. And one of the reasons that birds are so well studied is because they're abundant, uh, colorful, fun to look at. Um, some can be kind of cryptic, but for the most part, they're all very easily found and easily studied. So if you want to ask questions in biology or ask questions in evolution, gathering information with birds is one of the best ways to answer certain questions. Because of that, we've been collecting them for over 200 years. Here in the museum, it's been a little over 100 years now. Birds are also dinosaurs in the same way that humans are mammals. They have a lot of the same uh, features. They have hollowed bones and feathers, although dinosaurs had feathers before they were used for flight. They have wishbones and a whole bunch of other really neat morphological uh, measurements. In the paleontology department, looking at the fossil record of dinosaurs and, and studying how these birds behave and, and act and evolve uh, can uh, help us test theories and provide guesses uh, for how dinosaurs lived. It's really amazing uh, to come to a museum that has both dinosaurs and a world-class bird collection because you can take measurements that help paleontologists learn and guess and make good uh, predictions about what dinosaurs did and how they acted in their environments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And of course, come visit us here at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History.